Hello. Today, I want to talk about tattoos. What else do we talk about here? Specifically, why do people get tattoos and what tattoos can kind of do for you? Tattoos, I think, give people a level of confidence that maybe nothing else can really give you. Getting a tattoo in an area of your body that you're maybe not comfortable with, maybe you have scars in those areas, whether they're self-harm scars, whatever the case is, maybe, maybe you were abused in some way growing up or just an accident happened, whatever the case was, and you have a scar on your body and people are constantly asked, people are so nosy, anything that's abnormal. And I feel like tattoos can bring you that confidence back. Covering a scar can really change somebody's life for the better. People like to pretend that confidence can just be brought over you overnight. People think that, you know, oh, why do you hate your thighs or why do you hate your fingers, whatever it is, it's like, oh, just get over it. Oh, just lose weight or gain weight or just dress better. Those things don't matter. I feel like if you can, like, you can't just wake up one day and just feel like okay with those spots. Maybe it's not something you could just talk through with somebody. I think that tattoos can really help your, your mental health and how you feel about your body. Because if you have a beautiful piece of artwork in an area that you've always hated and you really are proud of that work, you're gonna wanna show it off. And now you're showing off that area of your body and eventually you're gonna associate that area with just the beauty that's on it and not all of the negativity that you felt like for the entire time before that. I always hated my thighs and Granted, I have a really shitty tattoo on my thigh, but once I got that tattoo, I started wearing sh short shorts again. I started being comfortable like wearing regular bathing suits without like those little skirts or those little shorts that are attached to bathing suits. I felt like I wanted to show off my legs and whether or not people like that is irrelevant because I enjoyed it. Why not have that? So I really hate it when people make fun of others or like to critique others for what they put on their bodies. Whether it's, you know, a tiny cute little dainty flower or a really hardcore skull or whatever. I think it's your right if you wanna have a tattoo to get it or if you wanna color your hair to do it. If you wanna wear crazy makeup, go for it. Regardless of your gender, you should be able to do whatever you want that expresses yourself. And I don't think anyone has any right to tell you otherwise. Tattoos have been around forever. To say that like it's just trendy to get a tattoo is really ignorant. I would say there are tattoo trends, but tattoos themselves are never a trend because we've been tattooing ourselves or each other since like, what, like 3000 3, BC? We've been doing it forever. It was a rite of passage. It was a type of cultural thing that we did. I mean, there's the Iceman. I forget what year he's from, but he had tattoos and tattoos were associated with things like acupuncture to help like alleviate pain. So is it really self mutilation? Wear what you want, pierce what you want, dye your hair, whatever you want, shave your head if you want, don't shave your head if you want, never cut your hair again if you want. If you want to have straight hair, curly hair, dreads, whatever, whatever it is, do it because it's your right to do it. It's your body. Don't let your conservative grandma tell you otherwise. Don't let the stupid lady behind the counter at CVS or or at the bagel store. Or at the fucking bank. Or the fucking bank. Fuck you, tell her at Santander. I took my money out for my back tattoo and the bank teller at Santander felt the need to, first off, deny me my money. That I'm taking out of my savings account because you need cash when you go to a tattoo parlor. And she didn't want to give it to me. And she can go fuck herself. I complained because Santander happened to have sent me like a review your stay. Then so I told them and then apparently they did an investigation and felt that they didn't do anything wrong. So I guess how I feel is irrelevant. Which I guess it's fine. I'm not gonna not go to Santander. I just hope I don't get that teller again. Or you know what? I hope I do get that teller again for my next back tattoo session. 
motherfucker. Getting tattoos can give you a ton of confidence, but if you get a really bad tattoo, you're gonna have the opposite effect. You're gonna hate that area of your body and you're gonna forever associate like that part of your body with like either a bad experience or bad artwork or bad healing, whatever the case is. These tattoos are with you for the rest of your life. So I wanna just always express the importance of picking out an amazing artist and to never skimp out on the artist you go to. Don't shop for tattoo artists in order to get the best price. Shop for tattoo artists to get the best work possible. Like search Instagram, search whatever, and see what you, suits you the best. Because if you make a bad decision, that's gonna ruin that area for you forever. Every time I look at my thigh, I think about like how rash and crappy of a decision it was and how many red flags there were that I should have seen before getting that tattoo that I completely ignored because I just wanted to get a tattoo. We do have a whole video, not only about thigh tattoos, but also about getting your first tattoo and picking out great tattoo artists. We'll put, I'll put them all in the description down below. I think to call tattoo self-mutilation is really ignorant. And the fact that tattoos are artwork, I think should like mitigate the fact that it's like self-mutilating because wouldn't mutilation like make yourself feel worse or feel ugly? Like I feel like when you, when people cut themselves, it's because there's something inside that's bothering you or there's something that you can't express and you feel like you need to do it. Whereas like for, I don't think a tattoo is because of those reasons. I don't think it's coming from a dark place. I think tattooing, I mean, I guess cutting yourself can be because you can express yourself and that's allowing you to. So in that sense, yes, tattooing, I guess, can do that for you. You are, self, you are expressing yourself, but I think in a much healthier way. You're paying somebody to do this. You're not doing this to yourself. You're doing it in a, in a safe environment and you're doing it in a clean environment. And you're doing it like, I feel like I'm doing it out of excitement and I'm doing it out of love. People always like to say that I've ruined my body, but every time I go into the shower, I stare at my back for like two minutes in the mirror. I like jump on the ledge of my my tub so I can see my back better. I, I don't think that self-harming will ever do that for you. The fact that I started to wear shorts again because I got a thigh tattoo. I don't think that happens. I think you want to hide yourself when you mutilate yourself. Getting tattooed, like, people like to believe that because you have a lot of tattoos or because you have a tattoo, it's because you like pain. I hate getting tattooed, but I love having tattoos. Getting tattooed is like the worst thing ever, honestly. You're sitting there getting stabbed with needles and it hurts and you're bleeding and you just gotta sit there as still as you possibly can, but you're making connections with people and you get to talk about life experiences and you get to talk about random topics and you get to, at the end of the day, you get to walk around with a beautiful piece. I, I don't think it's ever about the pain or the self-harm that comes with tattooing. It's, a, it's just the only way to get them. You, <laughs> you wouldn't get a tattoo if it wasn't permanent. You wouldn't invest all of the time in research. People need to stop stereotyping tattooed people I don't think tattooed people are any different way when it comes to like how they are in bed. Like people always like to look me up and down and be like, oh, well, where else do you have tattoos? Or they assume you're a certain way. I think the more tattoos I get, the more mainstream I look otherwise. Like I don't feel like I need to dye my hair anymore. And I don't feel like I need to wear a ton of makeup. I think the more tattooed I get, the more I feel like myself. So yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> Sorry about the ranting, but I just feel like people need to stop stereotyping tattoo people and stop assuming that you get tattoos for a certain reason. And that is all. Feel free to comment down below. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. And yeah, goodbye.